Welcome to the Q Sports International Expo being hosted at the Rio All Suites Hotel and Casino. This is the $100,000 added Predator World 10 Ball Championship presented by Q Sports International and sponsored by Predator. This is a semi final match of the only WPA sanctioned World Championship to take place in America. This is the second stage of the final 16 players. There's four left. These two gentlemen, Naoyuki Oi and Johan Chua. The other two are Eklan Kachi and Aloysius Lap, Yap, excuse me. And winning the lag is Mr. Chua, right of the Philippines. He's come through quite a field to get where he's at. He started out with Danny Olson, then he lost to uh, Wichters Delinsky, then defeated Jonas Suto, Dennis Grab, Mishko Fortunski, and then in the final 16, a who's who a pool, he defeated Alex Paglion and Shane Van Boning. His opponent sitting in the chair, lost his first match to Carlo Beato, then went on to defeat Steve Holman, Walid Majid, Filler, Zelinski, and in the final 16, defeated, defeated Tevis and Beato again. Met him and took care of his loss. Looks like he's hooked behind the six ball. Johan is hooked behind the six ball for the one. Broken made a ball. Push, push out. Push out ball. So he's going to have to push out. And it looks like he's pushing to a jump. No, he's left the full ball. He's going to hang the 10. Interesting. That's a big ball that now now Yuki could just bank at if he wanted to, or will he play safe and try to get behind a three eight? Got a choice of either corner pocket on top, or banking the ball to a big ten ball in front of a pocket. Does he want to be aggressive, which he usually is? This is George Tha in the booth. Bringing you the live action from the Predator World 10 Ball Championship. He's passed it, and Chua will be shooting. Let's see what he had in mind here. He's got three or four options both corners, the safety, or that 10 ball down on the bottom. It's big. And joining me in the booth here will be Oscar Dominguez, who had a fine tournament. Well, welcome, Oscar. How you doing, buddy? And you're on here. All right, cool. What a couple of players. Oh yeah, great, great, great players. I see. I see that on um, on the uh, next match on the other semifinal, you lost to uh, to Yap. Yeah, yeah. I had a easy opportunity to win a easy game, and after that. Uh, into a monster. <laughs> well, it looks like Shaw did the same thing on the last match here on the TV table. Mm -hmm. uh, that went. To, that was quite the match. Uh, Shaw, I think, won one game. Uh, Yap won the first game. Shaw won the next, and then Yap rattled off seven games in a row. That's crazy. Meanwhile, these two guys are battling it out with this one ball. They're not sure if they want to make it or not. <laughs> Chua made a ball on the break. Uh, pushed out. Yep, let him, I mean, uh, Oi let him have it back, and look what he's come up with. A two ball in the middle of, uh, it looks like it goes to the left-hand corner. Mm -hmm. A little dangerous here, because the, the 10 ball's gonna spot back up. So if he plays a combination, he's gotta be aware that the cue ball cannot be on the other side of it. See, that's why he put inside English. Mm -hmm. And fortunately or unfortunately, it looks like uh, the one ball fell right behind it. Well, you're the pro here, so I'm going to sit back and let you make the calls on these shots. This two ball looks good. Yeah, he's good. He's going to stun center ball, punch it across to the center of the table. So you give yourself an angle to come back for the four, just like that. And that's one thing that these guys are just so good at, is just getting to the center of the table so effortlessly, whether it's two rails, one rail, stun. Um, you know, that's one of the things that... Uh, I mean, you see it again, picture perfect center table. And again, six ball, the cue ball is going to go essentially back to the same location it's at now, like so. And it's just, it's kind of freaky when you start 
simplifying uh, the position plays of a lot of these top players, and uh, it's it's the game's evolved. It really has, and actually, from the center of the table, they can probably pocket seventy percent of the shots. Oh yeah. So if you're good at the center, I've always preached center table. Mm -hmm. Learn to get to the center from all areas. Yeah, that's that's critical. This is going to be nice, and the speed of this table is just. You were only on the TV table once, I believe. Yeah, I in played the last uh, tournaments. Yeah, I played Wukun Lin, and uh, did I play Chu on the TV table? I don't recall, but I, no, I, I did most of the matches. Uh, no, no, I did not, because we played on the outside tables. Well, Chua broke the balls, and it looks like he's going to take the first game. Yeah, what a great player this guy is. Well, he kind of proved that by. Uh, uh, in the final 16, he took on Alex Pagaline mm -hmm. and Shane Van Boney. Yeah, this, uh, I actually had the pleasure of uh, playing him a big set and uh, at the International Open maybe three years ago. Mm -hmm. He gave me the 8-9-10 handicap. He gave you a handicap? 8-9-10. And uh, he won. And uh, I remember a couple of people said, are you going to play again? I'm like, nope. <laughs> 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 I've seen this movie before, and uh, uh, I don't want to watch it again. Uh -huh. uh, well, it's just raw fire. I feel really good having you in the booth, Oscar. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I met your dad in 1993 at uh, Qtopia here in Las Vegas okay. at a tournament, mm -hmm. and um, uh, him and he was with Moro Pius, mm -hmm. and it's been a long time, but uh, I've never really gotten to speak with you. I waved to you high and by mm -hmm. here and there, and we had one match of bull shooters, but. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure, Likewise. pleasure having you in the booth. Buddy. Pleasure is mine, George. I'm glad to see you're off and running with your uh, hard times in Sacramento. Mm -hmm. I see, I see a lot of stuff online, and mm -hmm. uh, but here comes now Yoki. He's Boy. been crushing balls. He's, he's been absolutely he's ripping them. Look at that. Yeah, he's just, he's been so. Uh, gosh, he's a pleasure to watch. Good guy, and he's he broke dry there, that's and that's been the problem with this table is we've seen, but nice spread, but we've seen them break dry. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, the thing is, the point of, you know, breaking so hard is to give yourself an opportunity for these balls to be moving around. Um, but we got a little fortunate that the four ball semi-tied up. So if you notice, the left side, according to your screen, is blocked by the six ball. So if he were to play position, even absolutely perfect, he's got to play a negative angle to mm -hmm. come away from the 4-6. That way he can come off the long run back for the 5. Yeah, you, so this is a very precise pattern play. And this is one thing that, in my opinion, myself included, the Americans, we all lack. Mm -hmm. to, to see these shots. And it took me years for me to realize how far behind I was and, I, and the things I needed to work on. And that's one thing you're going to see Chua just do so effortlessly. Here he's probably even going to attack him. Do um, you think he'll attack him or just lay it on the rail, on the left? He, he can play up in the upper right-hand corner, but it's it's kind of a steep angle here. It's almost more beneficial to attack. I, mean, I don't see... Yeah. He did attack. Yeah, it's Perfect. more beneficial for that. That's a beautiful shot. Because he had a little too much angle. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're, especially on the newer cloth and the faster tables, it's going to slide out. You don't want to, you don't want to let go of your stroke and come too short, too long. Because if you overbounce that shot, you're. you're That's an excellent ob observation. And one of the things about just laying it for the four in the corner. Mm -hmm. uh, you're too close to the rail. Yes. You're gonna, and so that's that's going to create a problem. A little short there. It's a little careless, I thought, by Chu there. It's just a hair careless, but it's okay. He can stun with English. Well, that's one thing this table allows you to do is just something like that, and as soon as he grabs the rail, it grabs real nice and rolls mm -hmm. and falls into position. Right. And because we're playing WPA rules, the 10 ball must be the last ball pocketed. And uh, doesn't quite hamper the nine ball. Pretty, pretty safe there. Nine ball fits in both pockets with plenty of space. Yeah. And he elects to play the two cushion or possible three cushion attack to shoot the nine ball in the lower right hand corner pocket. You I, know, 
Right. You have a slick table here, Oscar. Yes. Would you prefer the two cushion or bump in that last third? I'd rather play the third cushion mm -hmm. um, just because the speed is going to be uh, a lot easier to control. Um, and you don't want to get yourself on the rail unnecessarily like so. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. But, I mean, he's so... I see Chua's approach. Um, I mean, he's such a pure shot maker. I see why he did what he did, because he doesn't want the third rail to slide down. So he rather just leave himself on the rail, guarantee himself a good shot. And we're back with Johan Chua to break a 2-0. Johan's opting to break from the center of the table, kind of like a standard 10 ball break, not breaking off the long rail. I've seen some of the players breaking off the, kind of like a nine ball break. Mm -hmm. Off the side rail, mm -hmm. we see that a lot. Do you think that's more, be oh, there goes the eight ball acting just like it would on template, right mm -hmm. to the side pocket. Uh, do you think that's more because of the, uh, the rack instead of a template? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Um, Especially if the balls are racking poorly in the middle of the, of the stack because mm -hmm. they're not tapped. You know, it doesn't really matter what rack you use, really, because if after, you know, different placements, after mm -hmm. every match, and there's no spots, yeah. there's going to create little divots into the cloth. Oh, well, you're, there you go. All right, yeah, so there's going to be, you. there's going to be some variations, um, less predictability without the template and some people opt to play the one ball on the side because they don't see any consistency in the break and uh chua pushed out always got up and didn't even think about it he seemed like it was stealing here and well he's he was stealing. <laughs> he was stealing that's a nice layup behind the 10. That's a dangerous shot there. That's, that shot right there? Yeah, he hit it perfect. He made it seem a lot easier than what it was. Well, you don't play a lot of... I know you play one pocket, I, but you don't play a lot of one pocket. Yeah, he just, uh, you know, that distance on newer cloth uh, kind of just freaks it's, me out a little bit. It's almost, to, to me, that that's almost like just hit the ball, you're going to get there. Yeah. That's yeah. how it looked to me. Extension here. So really, there's only two options. You got the one rail straight across, or you got the two rails, and you want to call the one or the six in the side. You got to call something. Oh, wow. that's a foul. And a golden opportunity for Oi here. And I'm su I'm actually a little surprised Chua pushed out to that position uh, because of the availability of laying on that ten mm -hmm. ball. Well, Oi with ball in hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can play a couple of different position shots here. You can play the one in the side, obviously, and stun across, two in the corner, three in the side, um, and just play very, very tight, tight position. Or you can follow and play the two. I mean, there's so many options here. There's mm -hmm. no right and wrong. And they're all available. you got four balls where he's not going to have to move his cue ball much after he gets on the two. Exactly. I mean, that's perfect there. That's, that's probably the right shot. Maybe just a baby stun and... Almost a stop shot on three. And probably the most difficult shot here, if there is a difficult one, is getting from the five to the six. And to make sure you're not straight in on the five and not get tricky. Mm -hmm. Well, the ten ball, I mean, the six ball looks like it passes the ten, but mm -hmm. not the seven. Yes. Used it. Use that to almost ensure a little better position on the four. Mm -hmm. He played right into the five. And out of all the Japanese players, always got the most unusual style. You mm -hmm. know, most of the Japanese are very structured, very almost rigid system, systematic approach to the game. Whereas always more of a loosey goosey, laughing, let the stroke out. They're almost robotic. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, I spent some time in Japan and. Uh, I got to know Oi pretty well. He's one of the, one of the best people you can meet. And uh, look at that great shot there. Played it in the side. Oh. Bigger landing area? Yep. Yep. Well, he's looking good here. Yeah, he's, he's in 
prime position here to get himself on the board and stop the bleeding. Because in a race of 10 alternate break, you cannot dig yourself in a hole. It's so hard to climb out. Well, uh, Boy seems to get behind early in matches. I'm going to see if I can, how many matches I can find that I've commentated on him. There's just the one versus Beato. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. Because I break it down and I, I keep track of the games they win and things like that, as you can see by my little Lexus here. Mm -hmm. And so I was going to say that he seems to be coming from behind quite a bit, but I only have the one other match that I commentated on him. Gotcha, gotcha. So I can't track that. But he went through this rack pretty well once he got ball in hand, and now is facing that easy 10 ball in the corner. And will be breaking. So your trip here to, to Las Vegas uh, seems like it afforded you some nice dinner time, dinner money. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I definitely uh, take a different approach nowadays in tournaments. It's more of a relaxation thing. I don't have to win. Uh huh. Does life seem to get in the way of uh, your pool game? Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Business and, and, and family, it's it's not, it's definitely not easy, but uh, it's okay, you know, it, it, my kids are only small ones. That's right. And you've also opened a, a, a shop next to your, uh, yeah, next to Hard Times. Yeah, that's right. Golden, Tell us about that. Yeah. yeah Golden State Billiard Supply. Um, we're slated to open around October 1st with an e-commerce site, selling cues, tables, the works. I think that's a great idea to sell on online. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, basically, you know, I'm going to be buying a lot of custom cues, and just trying to become, out, you know, you remember AAA Billiards back in the day from Los Angeles, or Best Billiards in Los Angeles? No. Okay, they were around in the 80s and 90s. Well, this guy's around right now, and uh -huh. he's, he's, He's all business. Oh, look at this guy. He's breaking. He just lets it grow. And he's incredibly accurate. Boom. Nice. It, it amazes me how some of these pros, boy, as he did there, kind of as he delivers the cue, his body comes up. Mm -hmm. And he puts a little more into it. DeLuna leaves the floor. Yeah. You yeah. know, some of the real powerful breaks. Uh, Shane comes up just like uh, Oi does. Mm -hmm. Now, this is the second time Oi's broken dry with no real threat towards the hole. Mm. I would like mm -hmm. to see if he were, would adjust because Chua broke from the left side of the, of the table, his left, mm -hmm. and he immediately made the eight ball on the side like it was a template rack. Yes. So what that's telling me is that the rack is frozen a little bit better on one side. On one side. So you want to break where you know it's frozen. They can't inspect the rack, so they can't check yeah, that. Yeah, that's, so that's, um, that's, that's yep. where you're gambling here, and that's yeah. where it's it's impossible to predict. And yeah. honestly, I love these rules. I love the format. I like the unpredictability. Um, I love the fact that it's not this typical layouts over and over again, because, you know, with these magic racks, it gets a little repetitive. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I, I, I read some of the comments online, and uh, that's not the... Uh, feeling that the, is out in the internet. Well, the thing is, is that these people don't do it for a living. That's right. You know, it's not, it, it, when you do it for a living and, you know, you fly out and you play a perfect set, you know, you fly halfway across the world and you didn't get a chance to play, that song and dance gets old after a while. Sure. This is a, you get some play, you get an opportunity to, to fight back. Now, if you make mistakes, well then, you know what, you were going to lose anyways. But... At so you, least having a, a, a fair opportunity at the table to to put some pressure back on your opponents. I think it's very appealing. So what you're saying is forget the run out fest. Let's play some pool. Absolutely. There you That's go. why one pocket's such mm -hmm. a great game because you get to play some pool. Yeah. You make a ball on the break, it doesn't matter. You re -rack. Meanwhile, Chua just played a super aggressive bank with the two-way shot. Um... I think he's going to opt to shoot it in the lower right-hand corner because it's a tight pocket there. You don't really want to juice it too much. That's what I'm talking about. How the Filipinos in particular use all six pockets more efficiently than any other style mm -hmm. of player, in my mm -hmm. opinion. Earl trained us. 
No side pockets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they just use all six pockets so efficiently. I actually loved to watch the Filipinos play for the longest time. I thought Dennis did the best job. Um, and of course, watching Efren play uh, mm -hmm. is just, he, he plays flawless, but so different than someone like, uh, well, just about any American. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, smooth, smooth. Head. And again, like I've said before, I'm not a pro player, but uh, I just watch you guys. You, you can dance, George. Don't be modest. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can dance. <laughs> Somebody accused me of trying to trap everybody yeah. one time at the uh, U.S. Open One Pocket Championships on OnePocket.org. But what happened was he, he uh, someone else made the comment about never playing One Pocket, and he thought that was me. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Here we go. Chua will be breaking again. He breaks whenever the score is tied. And Oi will break whenever the score is odd. Mm -hmm. And right now it's odd for him to be sitting down at three to one. And Chua breaking. Oscar Dominguez in the booth with me. This is George Teche bringing you the live action at Hughes Sports International Expo, the Predator World 10 ball. Semi-final match. We're down to four players, folks. And what four we have. Oh, yeah. Great, great. Great players here. Now, Chua missed hit that break a little bit. And um, he kind of got away with, uh, with it. He has a difficult opening shot. But if he executes it, he is going to leave himself a decent position. And if he misses, he's going to leave a very testy situation for Oi. So it's it's a shot that you have to shoot. And obviously he did it really, look really easily. He did. In fact, when you said it's a difficult position, I thought, once he makes this ball, I'm going to say, for who? <laughs> <laughs> Not for him. Not for him. He's smooth. Chua makes quick oh. work of this pass. And look how quick he gets in line on this rack to just really make it simple. Oh my goodness. He almost missed that ball. Did he? Yeah. He pinched it. Well, he hit it with perfect speed so that way he can mm -hmm. smooth out the pockets. Nice and soft to the middle of the table like you were talking about, Oscar. A little weak. I think he's perfect. Just draws it right up for the nine or can take the nine up. Oh, I see he wanted to lay it on the rail underneath it, didn't he? No. Now he is yeah. because he doesn't want to throw it with that side pocket. Yeah. He's got too much angle here, George. Oh, boy. He's going to have to go back and forth or flirt with that side pocket. Yeah. I think he'll go back and forth. No, he's flirting. I say short side. He's going to kill it. Yeah. That's the shot. That's. I've Look. seen Chua play a lot, mm -hmm. and I kind of see his tendencies, in it. and it's you know every player's got their own oh, style. Yeah, yeah. Shane, no chance he does that. Shane will go up and down or zip. Shane it moves. Shane moves his ball a lot. Right, he yeah. does move his ball a lot. Um, a little more so than most other players, yeah. and he settles for for uh, shots that, you know, other players are afraid to shoot. He's hard, hard to play with as a, as a scotch doubles partner. Oh, yeah, I played with him. <laughs> yeah. He is. I've always noticed that about him, is, is yeah. he's hard to play with. Yeah, and there's Masato. Another there's Japanese. Masato. Yep. Yoshioka, another Japanese player, on his phone in between, uh, in between games. Probably WhatsApping his friends over mm -hmm. in, in Japan, keeping them updated. And there's John racking him with that Predator rack. Yeah. Uh, one of our sponsors, Rax, as, as well as the cloth. The cloth is the Predator Arcadia Reserve cloth. And uh, tables are diamond at this because of the Diamond Las Vegas Open. Mm -hmm. uh, Playing with Arcos two balls. Mm -hmm. And actually, this is a setup I have at my uh, my pool hall. I, have, uh, I currently have some diamonds, just like this, black, mm -hmm. blue labels with Arcadia cloth. And... Um, 
I have a Predator rack. I have two of them, but I really don't put them out for the general public. Yeah, that's just, okay. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I have Arco stew balls on all our tables. And um, I'll tell you what, they've been, a lot of people have been asking me, how's Arcadia Cough compared to the other big name brands, mm -hmm. which I don't want to name because out of respect. Right. Um, and I said, I don't know. I need to see how it wears and tears. And it's been getting absolutely beat up. I'm talking about bangers and mm -hmm. serious players and it's held up incredibly well that's good to hear. I, I was shocked in fact that's very good feedback i'm sure predators listening so that, yeah. i'm sure they like to hear that yeah i am sure i mean i was not exp the the nylon blend is just so strong and look, look at always frustration Another that's three jumper. times he's broken dry and left a nice opening for oh, uh wow what a nice opening for two i hear he's only worried about the three ball and he sees where he has to get. So once he gets there, it all opens up. Yeah, this is frustrating. I mean, look at, oh, he looks dejected in his chair. Well, we saw that yesterday with Jason Shaw when he was playing Yap. Shaw would come to the table and didn't make a ball, didn't make a ball. Yap rattled off seven games in a row. That's the most any player has gone in a row uh, on the stream table. That's and crazy. that's outrageous. Yeah, that's crazy. Meanwhile, Chua is going to be nice and smooth here. Come as straight as possible on the three. Wow. I have a feeling he's just going to draw it back. Oh, he's got a little baby angle to stun it across. Just like that. Good shot. Right. I like the way you describe that little baby angle since you have two at home. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Couple of options here. You can elect to follow or draw, but obviously it draws. Yeah, just don't end up straight. And he did. Pretty straight. Let's see what he does here. Stunning. Oh, he's oh, got, he's some got a little bit of an angle, yeah. yeah. It's not too bad. Wow. Side pocket. The eight ball saves him. Wow, you see how much action he got? Yeah, he did. The, the, I see a lot of that. The stunning across and drawing across. Right. That ball comes across very easy. Yeah comes across real easy, real nice. And now he doesn't want to be on the rail here. He's got a small pocket going by the nine. But uh, it doesn't bother this gentleman. I'm going to call him the next Ephraim, the pride of the Philippines. He's, he's just something else. Let's get that. Uh, I'm going to make it five to one. And this is three games in a row.
off and running in the semifinal match at the Predator World 10 Ball Championship. Two out to break, leading five to one over Nayuki Oi. And here comes Chua. Now he's not crushing these balls, Oscar. No, he's just he's it's... just hitting him with a nice solid stroke an... and make square contact. Well he's got a nice he got a nice hop on that. And did he get a ball in? No. No. See, he hit him. He hit him harder than the first uh, three breaks that he's had, mm -hmm. and uh, came up dry. That might be something for somebody to look at. Yeah, absolutely. Speed. Speed is everything. Completely changes the reaction of the balls. Now, always finally saying, "Oh my God! Finally, you get a good opportunity here." This kid's not just running out on my racks and running out on his. It's. Uh, He's swimming in mud, but you know, if someone's got heart, it's uh, oi, oi. To keep fighting. So he has to produce here, otherwise he'll really feel dejected if he comes away, because this is a nice spread out rack. Yeah. Everything's spread out. Yeah, this is this. You have to run out. You just there's no choice. When something like this comes up for you as a as a you know a good money player, great money player, uh, and pro, uh, do you feel that pressure of I got to get out here? Oh, absolutely. Especially when you realize that you're. You're slipping. Mm -hmm. You know that the it's slipping away from you. Slipping away from you. You're running out of time, especially in a race of ten. It's not that long. Well, you like those races, the seventeen and fifteen yeah, and eighteen. 15, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I'm a slow starter <laughs> <laughs> to, to catch up. Uh, do you uh, have a tendency of acclimating to your opponent in the match? Unfortunately, yes. Okay. Yeah, we try to not to. That's you'd let this jump out of the out of the gates pretty fast, huh? Yeah. Right. Darn thoroughbreds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the people I play now are just so tough. And uh, they base my game off the way it used to be pre children, mm -hmm. pre business. And, and it's just not the same anymore when you're not putting in the time. Things do change. Yeah. This is family. As pool gets in the way of your family time, right. as you'll learn. Yeah. Oh, he's going to stun this one. Oh, he's made nice work of this. Now, will he just go up and down? Oh, yeah. Okay. Just, you don't want to take a chance of hitting it too soft there, do you? No, no, just up and down. Especially on a slick table. Yeah, you just yeah. keep it simple. Just yeah. let the cue ball run a little bit. Center table. He's a little short. He can use his extension. On a shot like this, I, I, I see players sometimes over amp it and end up in the side pocket. Do you prefer to just the one rail it or go ahead and take the two and come towards the side pocket on the right? Um, in a situation like this where I really can't reach it with, mm -hmm. with the follow, I like to use a low draw, no side spin. Because mm -hmm. when you use side spins, when you start coming closer to the side, just a right. low draw and just... Uh, just, just like that. Yeah. And so you don't mind the extra diamond and a half oh, of no. area. It's so insignificant based okay. off the position. Especially that you're at. I mean, now there's no incentive to, to trying to flirt with the side pocket here. You just want to give yourself a long straight shot. That's fine. Keep it simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, that gives you a, a big insight into why you're scratching in the side pockets a lot. Go ahead and give yourself that extra diamond of uh, space mm -hmm. and uh, safety. Yeah, absolutely. And again with the rack here. John Lehman, been uh, been working his tail off this whole two weeks. God bless his heart. Oh yes, he has. He's been working long hours at here at the Q Sports International Expo. Uh, now this whole expo is comprised of the USA National Championships, the BCA World Championships, mm -hmm. of course the Diamond Las Vegas in this tournament. Uh, the teams arrived, I believe it was Wednesday, mm -hmm. and there's Oi just working with all the stuff there. But, I mean, we have thousands of amateurs. How do you feel when you're walking along and some of the amateurs come up and say, hey, Oscar, will you take a picture with me? Or, you know. I'm still not used to it. Does it flatter you? You <laughs> yeah, like it's that? It's flattering. Yeah. It's flattering. Yeah. It just. Uh... You know what's strange for me is I, I've gotten in the elevator twice now, uh, the whole thing, and I don't say a word. And then if I say something, somebody, that, a couple people in the elevator said, hey, I know that voice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I know they eavesdrop on our uh, on uh, on the live streams. Yeah. Always looking around. He says, "What do I? How do I stop this monster? Mm -hmm. How do I make a ball on the break?" Is the 
big question. Well, what all he needs to do is, yeah. it, it's just really just forget about the traditional 10 ball break. You, had, you gave it three efforts, break off the side rail, try to make the one on the side end. It's, well, that's my philosophy because mm -hmm. I see what's happening here. That the spread is, is not going towards his favor. So you see how the break is happening because of the way the balls are breaking. Yeah. Okay. I, I have to make an adjustment. I mean, it's, he's going to have, to, now he's staring and he's like, what do I do? Well, he closed the gap with that game and he will be breaking to close it by one more. Uh, he's back to his original position. Now he's just probably going to either hit it as hard as he can and just absolutely pray for a good result or slow down his speed. I think the slow down is uh, is where he should go, but I don't think he is. I think he's going to amp up. He's going to amp up. Yeah, that's... And the cue ball oh uh, my God. came close. Oof. You know, for these young players, it just makes their heart beat a little bit. For me, uh, you know... I, might have a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, folks, when I say that. <laughs> the boy here is just dejected. He's like, what in the world do I do differently? And look at the nice spread. All he has to do is go by this uh, four ball. Uh -huh. Or the seven ball, excuse me. It looked like the four for a second. It is a four. It is the four. Okay, yeah, well, yeah, he right. didn't go by. He came off. Okay. So he wanted to maintain the angle. Exactly. Yeah. He wanted to guarantee himself an angle. I couldn't see the three. The screen, the monitor was in my way. I never saw the three ball because <laughs> I was looking at the table. I make the mistake of looking at the table a lot, folks. I get a better read. Oh my goodness, that's you're not going to see. Maybe you'll see it uh, sometime next year. Oh my goodness, but you won't see it very often. Not from Johan Chua. He jumped like a kangaroo. Did you see that? That's surprising. He jumped like a kangaroo. He, he it just he knew he overhit it, and it just. That's uh, it's a terrible feeling. I, I've been there, brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I think we, we've all been there. We've all been there. And, you know, usually when you slow down, like that ball wasn't hit very hard. It had plenty of angle to come down. But that little deflection there, I think, yeah. came into play there. Yeah. And I was going to say, usually you hit that ball thick and it hits the, the rail before, but he overcut the ball. He overcut it, deflected yeah. out. And uh, Hoyt does. Uh, a little complicated shot here because you can go two rails and come on the weak side of the eight and bump it through. Just make sure you don't hug yourself. Uh, we put a little outside spin. He kept it clean and tidy. Yeah. Yeah. Outside spin. Nice. So here I think Oi is going to opt to just stop the ball and play the five ball. Two cushions. Long rail, long rail instead of going three cushions forward, which is long, short, long. Mm -hmm. I think it's just gonna come across two cushions, long, long. Really hit that hard. And he's straight in, now he has to come all the way. Oh, he's gonna follow this and play it by, by the nine balls tight. He's got plenty of room by the nine though. Yeah, it just seemed like a... So he's gotta come if he comes back, he's got to come back uh, past his hand, just a little past his hand. Oh, he came back with a side pocket. He came back to guarantee safety. Wow, what a shot. Always feeling a little nervous here. He's getting a little jumpy. He knows how important this game is. He needs to take his time. He's, he's rushing a little bit. He's accelerating on the backswing, so just uh, definitely call your timeout. Don't worry about saving it. Just call it. Yeah. What are you saving it for? Because mm -hmm. you're going to get yourself out of line. What does a timeout do when you're out of line? Now's the time for you to make sure you get perfect, take your time. Mm -hmm. That's The important shot is now, not the future. Yeah. Worry about now. You can't predict the future that you're going to need your timeout later. So you're not going to need your timeout if you're sitting in the chair because you miss the ball. <laughs> and he knows the importance of the game because at this stage, with a five to two uh, deficit for him, his break becomes extremely important. He has to produce because Chu is running out on his. Yeah, here he's got a positive angle, so he's going to just go forward through the ball just like that. End up the center table, like so, right on the center line. Perfect. Again, center table line. 
no real English, just a natural ball because the ball's being hit a little on the thinner side. You put a little half tip of English there. Just end up perfect. Johan Chua to break at five to three. I'm a bit of a numbers guy, so here comes some numbers for you folks. Johan Chua at an 801 Fargo. Now Yuki Oi at an 805. Now their WPA ranking, Oi has a 16. Chua is 21 this year. That's their current ranking. And the 29-year-old Chua breaks the balls, and it looks dry. Oh, a ball just oh, slipped in. As I God. said, it looks dry. The cue ball slipped in. Oh, boy. Look at this. This is sick. And this is how, how matches get well. Yes. Yeah, this, this is, is just how matches get well. Yeah, this is how, how uh, Chua kind of got away with murder there with the 2-6-4 lining up. However, with that being said, the four ball is close enough to the pocket where you don't need to hit the six ball perfectly. Actually, you would prefer to miss hit the six ball a little bit on the four, so the six ball removes out of the way, so the okay. two ball has a clear path. So it's conducive for Noah Oid, in my opinion, to avoid playing short side. Don't bother short side. Play the double comp, the three ball combo, and the six ball almost instantly get out of the way. Um, that's my personal opinion. Let's see what he does. And he went. No, he went for it. No, that's my personal opinion that he made a mistake there. However, he's here and I'm not. Yeah, let's see how it works out for him. Let's see how it works out for him. Now yeah. he's going to lay down the safety behind the 10 or behind the 3. Now, see, I think I would have played short side um, instead yeah. of, of going trying out. to move it. Yeah. yeah, because even if you move it, you have to hit it so full to bank mm -hmm. it towards the 3. I don't know. I just didn't see... Maybe he sees something that we don't, obviously. Um, but who, who? Well, he probably doesn't even consider the possible. I, I never thought of the three ball combo. Mm -hmm. I don't like shooting him down the rail, but neither ball is on the rail, I don't think oh, so. No. He's going behind the 10. Or, oh, no. Oh, window, boy. Window, window, window. Now, see, that could have easily been, a, and when I say matches get well right here, that could have been a two-game swing. He runs this one, and he's breaking, and it's possible to have two games before Chua comes out of the ta out of his chair. Instead, Chua's out of his chair after ball in hand. Oh, boy. This is going to, mark my words, this is going to be killer for Oi. A turning point? A turning point, absolutely. This is big. I think it could have turned it in his favor, and instead, because of this, it could turn away. Mm-hmm. So here we just, this is a, always just a praying to the pool gods here that uh, Chua hooks himself, misses a ball, something. Because this kid doesn't look like he's making a mistake when it's open table. Mm -hmm. um, except that two ball miss, which shocked everybody, I think. You don't get those opportunities too often at this at this level of play, so... When they do come up, you better take advantage because uh, these guys, they smell blood and mm -hmm. there are sharks in the water. Oh boy, a little fast there. Kind of ricocheted off of it a little fast, but worked right. out perfect. And he's working his way down to the end of this rack. He's got six balls to work through. I love how the English just adds a little speed when it comes off a rail like that. It's just so obvious. One of my favorite sayings to, to newbies or you know players who start using English is, English is speed. Mm -hmm. Create extra rotations on that cue ball. Chua's gonna just uh, side pocket, side pocket. And that's not something you, a lot of people do. The Filipinos do it well, but Look at the angles that he gets on the side pocket. It's a pretty full angle. There's not, they're not steep. No. And it's very controlled. And he falls right into place for the 10 ball. For a three game lead. It's six, three, or five, four. How big is that? It's huge. And breaking. And you breaking. know, if you're five, four and breaking, you got to love life. 
but now it's 6-3. Oi will be breaking instead of at 4-5. Uh, now if you I don't want to jinx him. I hate to even think about a commentator's jinx, but he hasn't been successful with his break. Will he change? Either change speed, he changed to harder. Mm -hmm. Will he change to softer, or will he change location? Chua is having success from the same area. Yeah, I mean, one of the things is a lot of people, if you ever notice, like the nine ball break, people break to one side. Mm -hmm. Typically, we, mm -hmm. we have a tendency. So right-handers usually break from the left side of the table. Left-handers break from the right side of the table. Usually, that's the rule. Usually, however, sometimes when you're racking, the balls break better on one side over the other. And I've seen a lot of players who are not comfortable moving to location because they practice only from one, one side, side of the table. So, with that being said, perhaps this is just an assumption. Oi doesn't feel very confident moving his location because it's going to affect his timing on the accuracy of his hits. That's a great point. So uh, the other wrong. thing that could affect it is he can't check the rack to see which side is racked perfectly. Yeah. He's breaking from the same spot. He's yep. just going to live and die. The way he looks at it is, uh, it, this break took me this far. I'm going to I'm going to die with it. Yeah, he die. made a ball on the break. That, uh oh. oh cue ball. Long mm -hmm. shot. This is actually a practice shot for a lot of you guys. It should be. <laughs> <laughs> the long, I call it one of the hardest shots in pool. Oh, yeah. this is the long, but, and he has to come back for the deuce. Look at the deuce. He's got to come back a little bit. Yeah, least. just a little. Just six to eight inches at least. Mm -hmm. uh, just so that he can actually spin the, the two ball. But I don't think he's going to play well, if it. He, if he stops it, he can probably spin it in. The four ball stops his scratch. And he can open up on it. Now that. No, he's not even going to play. He's going to try to ne that. nestle in right there. And Great that's a shot. nice shot. Great shot. Nice recognition that uh, he was in trouble and found uh, a door to get out of the trouble. Great shot. Right away. That is a winner shot. What I like there that Oi did very well is that he hasn't been impatient. He knows he's down six to three. He does not change his style of play based off the score. And I keep telling, I, I've always gotten this question. People mm -hmm. have always asked me, you know, one pocket, you you do almost change your shot selection based on the, on the score. Um, you can play a little bit more aggressive when you're down and the mm -hmm. guy needs one and vice versa. I have an opinion of that in 10 ball. I never change the way I play based on the score. So it doesn't matter if you're down 9-0. Mm -hmm. A good shot in 10 ball is a good shot in 10 ball, period. I don't see playing ultra aggressive because a lot of times whenever you play consistent, boom, boom, there's, there's percentages. Percentages don't lie. Math doesn't lie. No, it tells the truth. It tells the truth. But then you just made a good point about one pocket. You know, old saying in one pocket is when you're behind, you play like a lion. When you're ahead, you play like a lamb. <laughs> Wow, that's true. Now Oi went rail first and hit it way too thick, way too fat. And this is why the cue ball just died. The energy wow. went into the two and not into the cue ball. Now is he, or excuse me, the one. He's going to have to go to that diamond from the side pocket with the lot of left and open it up to that angle. He's got to open he's it up. He's playing the jump so that the cue ball can run into the six, and the cue ball stays on the short rail, possibly caroming mm -hmm. behind the eight ten, and banking the two ball towards the four five. From that from that position, I never considered the jump. Yeah. That's the shot. You want you want the two ball to hit the four or the five so that it stays up there. And you want the cue ball to hit the six, just like that. You see that? How mm -hmm. it can hook them? Mm -hmm. That control? That's that's completely controlled. That is not a roll. That is 100% controlled. These guys are so good with the jump cue these days. It's it's disgusting. Um, and beautiful shot by Oi, perfectly executed. Um, Chua here is going to play the two ball in the corner. I don't think he's really playing it because if he were to make it, he's going to bump off the six and possibly scratch in the corner. And that's what I think he was playing. He was playing the draw the ball back. 
here and try to play safe. And he's um, left nothing really easy. No, nothing uh, easy. I mean, tough. you can play the overcut on the left side of the ball and put the two ball behind the 6-5 and the cue ball behind the 7-9. Or you can play the bank on the two ball straight back and bring it towards the eights, which is what I would have liked to do. Just because when you hit it thin, I feel like you might clip the seven. It thin. Yeah, and, and, and he played it all the way down, which is the right shot. And notice how there was no reaction when the little beeps from the t uh, time clock uh, were going off. Mm -hmm. I don't think I said anything to the fans that are watching. If you haven't been following along, they are on a 30 second time clock, a 60, sec 60 second extension after the break, and then one 30 second extension per player per rack. No early 10 balls, no 10 balls on the break. They are, as Oscar mentioned earlier, WPA rules. All fouls, three foul rule in effect. And we've had a couple of big losses by a three foul rule. Yeah, it's <laughs> shame. That's, that's, that's very, very strange. It doesn't happen very often. Then I watched uh, Omar and one of the, um, the Polish players they three fouled each other uh, uh, in two games. Wow. Omar got it first, and then the, uh, forgot which. I think it was either. Um, Fortunski. Uh, for, I think it was Fortunski. Misko. Wow, he missed it bad. So Chua made two mistakes there in two consecutive shots. He played a safety that was very weak, and then Oi oh, left a weak safety, and then Chua missed this ball really bad. Um, I guess I just have such uh, high expectations of Chu of never missing a ball. Well, we've seen it twice now. We've seen it twice. And, uh, he, he's, he's just proven he's human. Yeah, he's, he, he bleeds like everybody else. He's going to have to return Roberto Gomez's Superman shirt. <laughs> and Oi here has got a golden opportunity here to, to recover from the other situation that he had. He always so from the seven to the eight, uh, how do you play position from here? Where are you going to get? Uh, I play on. I played on the short rail all the way down. The all short the way down rail. to the bottom, just uh, yeah. back cut it. Yeah. Okay. I don't think he even paid attention where he needs his cue ball. It was that easy. No. He, yeah. He's he, going to put it right yeah. where this hand is. Yeah. Right. But the thing is, you should have given yourself more angles so you can draw off the seven to the long road. So and it fall can, on the short road. Exactly. So mm. he can die. Here he's coming across the tangent line. You see this? Yeah, he can. He hit it perfect. Yep. Obviously, he hit it perfect. And just barely. It's dangerous, that shot. Yes, it is. It's no, I. I uh, and that's part of the reason I kind of even didn't consider getting he swerved there. it. He wasn't. He did not have a full ball there to make it. He actually baby swerved it. Okay. So, you know. And he'll just go underneath this 10. He's going to kill it, I think. No, played it underneath, like you oh, said. I just, it'll come back up. In, Perfect. Especially on a slick table like this. Yeah. Good out by Oi. And we are back to the Predator World 10 Ball Championship with Johan Chua to break at 6 to 4. Race to 10. This is the semifinal match of the only WPA sanctioned tournament in, the, in America. One ball straight to the side. Breaking off the long row. Mm -hmm. That's why he's playing them almost like the nine ball. But look at this. Is that two ball cut? It sure does. Oh boy, it cuts, but it's... Can you hold it for the three? I don't think oh, so. Well, you know, um, it almost looks like he might be able to nibble the four, but he's going to nibble the wrong side of it, huh? Yeah, but if he nibbles the wrong side of it, it might trickle over. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it, it's it's yeah. a shot you almost have to play just mm -hmm. so that you can settle. Maybe you overcut it a little bit and, play and bump into the three even, but that's super thin hits. Did he call the bank? No. No, no, no. He's playing it. They're, playing he's got to be mad at his money to play the bank here. Yeah, I, I, I thought of some point over there, though. Oh, my God. He is mad at his money. <laughs> it surprised me. <laughs> I mean, he did have a big pocket with the six ball, but 
Oh man, what a shot. I mean, just to even have the bravery to shoot that gun. Well, he lost my one pocket action. <laughs> <laughs> With half a pocket. Yeah. Well, he, he, the six enlarged it a little bit, but still. I mean, the six ball is really close to frozen, so it does mm -hmm. play a little snug. It's not that. It's not that generous. Um, he's just going to go and nibble off. Did you try to get behind the seven here? No. Do not get near the seven. I okay. say you play it behind the eights. Because if not, you just well, play behind the four. Even better. Control, control, control. What you mm -hmm. don't want is a camera on the ten and for him to keep shooting. But it looks to me, it looks to me like he's left a kind of uh, kick and stick here. It's pretty far off the rail. But if he plays this ball on the side, the nine ball can come into play. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, even and if he, seven. Yeah, if he were to play, you want to kick this a little bit on the shorter side, before the side pocket, instead of long. Oh. He played it long. It's going to work out for him, though. It's going to work out real well. Oh. I would really like to know if he was playing it that way or the short and just happened to hit it long. I, if he played it long, it's genius. Genius. Yeah. And, it, and here, this is a big pocket because it's about an inch off the rail. So he can go rail first or ball first and threaten to pocket the ball. Oh, he missed it. That's a big ball. That's a really big ball. That's a big ball to miss. Uh, he kind of got weak on it. He kind of rolled it instead of stunning it. Mm -hmm. And when you roll it on, obviously, a newer cloth, it's going to elongate. Instead of and that's exactly what happened. Yeah, it's sure. exactly what happened. So always going to opt to follow at three cushions. Short row, long row, long row. And keep in mind, it's only a two-game lead, so... Here we go. Here comes Oi. Anytime you're leaving yourself on the rail, it's always going to be a little bit more difficult. It's a little disappointing to yourself, too, because you tell yourself, you know, you're not on the rail. Well, maybe you don't, and that's why you end up on the rail. Yeah, of course, because it's the last thing you put in your head. Sure. If you're swinging a golf club, you say, don't shank this. What's the yeah, that's the first thing you do. And thing I've, you oft, I've often thought that. Mm -hmm. Like when you break the balls on Hill don't Hill, and you scratch. say, don't scratch, and hello. Hello, you so told your mind, scratch. Absolutely. That's all it had to hear. Exactly. You just come back a little bit off the rail here, or do you use the rail and um, no, I, both I, rails. two cushions, two cushions, two cushions, mm -hmm. all the way two cushions. See, I tried to I tried to maneuver softly right in, in shots like that, and I end up getting in a little bit of trouble, and that's exactly why. Yeah, yeah. I have to watch you pros play more. Yeah. <laughs> like got, I don't. <laughs> yeah, you, got, you just got to do the stun stroke a little bit yeah. more sometimes, right. especially in rotation. Yeah. And that comes from playing pretty much just one pocket. Mm -hmm. Actually, now it's just not really playing. Yeah. Out of the field. <laughs> no, you don't. I play one race to seven a week. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Now, always making a hell of a comeback, heck of a comeback. And, uh,. Yeah. He's showing a lot of poise, a lot of heart. And, and he's showing this throughout yeah, and in all his matches. And he's tapping the table saying, let's go. Yep, yep. Come on, he's kind of, you know, incenting himself to break well. Right. That's the important thing for him, especially at this stage right here. If he can make a ball into break and get out here, it will lift him up so high. I mean, it will really, you'll see him, I think you'll see him jump out of the chair when he has a shot. Shula's here sitting in his chair thinking, uh, I'm playing good and I'm only up six to five. Yeah, <laughs> and my guy's not making balls on the break. Exactly, he is not loving the position he's in. Because well, he's, I mean, obviously you gotta like him. You know, mm -hmm. Oi has to win five to three to win mm -hmm. the win, Hill Hill. To win the match or go Hill Hill. Yeah. The one thing in, in Shua's mind though is he's missed two balls. Yeah. Exactly. Those two balls, he says, I, I should be over. It should be mm -hmm. eight to three, and oh, I should be dead in the water. But wow. uh, he's not, and here we are with Oi breaking. Um, I actually saw Oi in the parking lot uh, a little earlier. Uh -huh. I had my daughter with me, and I told my daughter, I said, sweetheart, say gambate. 
Gambate. What does gambate mean? Fight hard or good luck oh, in wow. Japanese. And I say gambate. And he's, oh, gambate. Well, Arigato. speaking of fighting hard, let's yeah. see what this samurai does with his break. He's going to rip it. And almost got a hernia. Oh, it's a one so ball. Well. And one ball and the two ball. And and a shot under. Th oh, it looks oh, like it. Oh, maybe. It is tight. It's like a half ball shot. Which is all you need to make it. Yeah. I think it, it goes. Looks, it, it does look like it. It goes. This will be big big for uh, for Naoki. Oh, oh, he's like Naoki. relieved. He's like, finally get a shot. I want to see the dance if he happens to win this match. <laughs> I want to see how high he jumps. Yeah. Oh, he's on. One of my favorite people in the pool. I think since that famous interview that he did when he started singing the song and stuff, he's a lot of people's favorite. Yeah. Oh, what a shot there. Oh. Personality, folks. Personality it goes a long way. Yes, it does. Now, oh, he's got a tester. All the way down. Uh, oops, I'm sorry. I was going from the five to the four no. instead of from the four to the five. I got a little reversed. Yeah. It's, it's I'm left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tough shot. Can he come straight back oh, or and just kind of hold it? No, right he's going to jack up and zip he's it. He's going to zip it? He's going to zip it. Yep. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Straight. He's pretty flat. He's straight. Now, actually, it's not so bad. Now, I know this sounds silly, but if you do a stop shot off the cushion, okay, you follow the tangent line. And it's not that difficult to go off the rail and play the six ball. Oh God, he hunched it, cheated the pocket. That is one of the things um, uh, these four and a half inch pockets are affording. Yeah, he punched the living daylights out of that yeah. ball. See how it rattled? Yeah, almost you, didn't you're go. used to playing on four and a quarter, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I okay. Mean, he, he, <laughs> he really muscled that ball. And you've been at Griff's playing on four and an eighth, too. Yeah, okay, I have <laughs> So, yeah, that shot, uh, you don't shoot down there. You go busted like me. <laughs> Get speed there. Yeah, I heard you're still taking reservations for the next game. <laughs> I always am. That's, the <laughs> That's right. I never stop. So, you go ahead and play short side here. Yep, you got no choice. Mm -hmm. You don't want to overspin this ball. Just one tip of running English and let it off the third row. It's going to just slide down smooth. Just like that. A little too soft. Oh, that's He's perfect. He's perfect. 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 Has that little angle to come right up for the nine. Wow. Six, six. He was trailing five to one. He won two games in a row, lost one. He's won two games and about to win another to tie it up at six. Just like the late, great J.J. Uh, Jenkins. J.J. used to do a lot of streaming out in Los Angeles. He used to say they're side by side, just like they left Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Rest easy, J.J. Three in a row to Three tie it up.
Tied at six. Tied at six here. Now the heat's on Chua. Well, now this reminds me of the Diamond in Las Vegas. It's a race to four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice one ball shot oh straight to the pocket. He's not going to have a shot on the two. Oh, he lost his cue ball bad with yeah, inside forward. English. Yeah, I went forward with inside English, or outside English, excuse me. Uh, what do you push out to, Oscar? I, uh, well, show me the... A good rule of thumb is you always want to push out towards the safety. Okay. Okay, that's a good rule of thumb. Now, the other rule of thumb is that when you push out, you want to push out to a position where... You're going to guarantee yourself another inning at the table. So you want you want it back. You want it back. You okay. want, you want to That's shoot. That's what I thought. That's how I look at it. Whether or not it's the two ball or the next ball where the gentleman's going to put a safe on you or pocket the ball, basically is you want to make their life a living mm -hmm. torture chamber. You want to give them a tough decision, yes. Yeah, you want yeah. to give them a tough decision. Um, you don't want to make it too tough, though, to hurt. You're at a major disadvantage. No. So like this, I disagree with. Would you give this back? I wouldn't give I it would, back. I would give it back immediately, and I'll tell you why. Okay. So the return safety on this two ball, it's so difficult to bring the cue ball back behind the eight, mm -hmm. nine, mm -hmm. without letting the two ball leak out because there's too much energy being required to get the cue ball back down here. Now... For him to play a soft spin and shoot him behind the seven, it's so difficult and so perfect. Even if he were to do it, the return jump or safety is okay. very strong for Oi. So it's, if you were to look at the poker hands, you know where they have the percentages? I think it's 80-20 right now letting Chua shoot where uh, Oi is 80% and Chua is only 20%. I see it different. I see him banking this ball to the five and coming in with these balls. Oh, he went to, with a real cut. See, it's... So you worked out. See, I would have hit it. I would have banked the two ball at the five and mm -hmm. come tight on the four, not using the bottom rail. Mm. Okay, well, that would have been, that's, you know, that I, been I, a better shot. Not I'm, not, I'm not a pro player. <laughs> see, I see what Chua was doing. He was trying to he hit it way too soft, no matter what. So he was trying to go two rails, short rail, long rail, and the two ball bounce back behind the seven and the cue ball behind the eight, nine. It was a good idea. It's just obviously difficult to execute. Difficult yeah, to execute. Exactly. He had so many variables the spin, speed, quantity of the two ball. Well, he's, she has got to be a little disappointed in himself uh, sitting in the chair right now and wondering hey, dude, get out of your head. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the three ball passes, does it? So, no. Um, doesn't look, doesn't appear to. He's playing the bank. And he hooked himself. Did he come all the way back? Close. Oh, this still banks. I think it plays perfect in the side. Do you like it in the side? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I yeah, think he got dead perfect on accident. Now, in a four and an eighth, I, I think I bank it on, yeah. on this table. I might play it. Yeah, I'll play that on the side. Yeah, he's playing on the side. And look what it does to the five. Unbelievable. He got dead perfect. If he played that shot, it was right. phenomenal. The only good thing about two of us sitting in the chair here is, uh, that can make him feel good, is the eight ball is not... Uh, it's not a gimme. Not a gimme. He's got to. He's got to work. Yeah. So here, what, what always going to do is opt to shoot like a stun stop, just to bounce it off the rail a little bit. That way he can play position for the seven, the upper left hand pocket. Slide the cue ball back, essentially where the cue ball's at now, so he can do a stop shot on the safety for the eight to the nine. Perfect. Um, it's almost like a free shot to play short side position, like a one pocket position here. Mm -hmm. It's almost a free shot if the eight passes a 10, which it does. The benefit behind shooting it that way is because if you come short, well, then you just do a stop shot safe. Right. Don't come long no matter what you do because then you're, you're shooting negative away from the eight and it's going to be a lot of weird things can happen. Then you're having to work. He came all so the way down. He came down all the way it. down. He's playing safety off the eight, unless the eight passes, which I don't. It doesn't look, no. doesn't appear to him. He's not taking any time at this. He's going to stick him on the nine. Pass the side pocket. You want the eight ball to pass yeah. the side pocket so it's the easy. Oh, my. Why would you do it that This safe? can be kicked. You don't want to leave it in front of a pocket. Never, never leave a safety ball in front of a pocket. 
But you know what? I mean, considering it's tough, he it's can't tough. reach it. He can't reach it. He's just going to jack jack up over the nine and kick it short rail, mm -hmm. long rail, and play that corner. And yeah. being right-handed, now you leave me this shot because I can't reach it. I'm left-handed. <laughs> this is uh, a, a good thing that can happen here. He has eight of his speed. You got to hit it harder than that. The only reason well, why I'd recommend hitting it harder than that is so that the cue ball goes up and the object ball goes up and down. Mm -hmm. You know, you can hit it full, you can hit it thin, whatever way you hit it, you are going to create separation between the A ball and the cue ball. Well, whatever we thought of that safety, it worked. It worked. They got, him, they got him a nice shot on the eight, and uh, probably his first lead of the game, of the match. What a shot. Now it's a completely different Oi. He's like, I got him, I got him, I got him. I got him weak. And, uh, and I, he's breaking. He's breaking good now. He made a ball. Yeah, he made a ball on the break. He's breaking now. He's like, let's go. Okay, slap. Now, Yuki Oi to break the balls, leading seven to six in this match. First time he's been leading. He's not changing position of the rack of his break. Well, now he made a ball, so he's like, well, I guess uh, perseverance. Uh, mm -hmm. paid, up, paid off. Paid off. Now, does he know how he changed to make a ball? I think it's just he's been smashing him. He's smashing. Him. He's hoping for a good separation. Good he smashed break. Him. Good break. There goes the six in the side. The four, four. in the corner. He's uh, bank shot on the on the one. Here we go. Uh, or a safety. Here comes Oi. The two ball looks like it goes by the three. He's playing aggressive. Oi's always been the most aggressive of the Japanese players. Mm -hmm. It's not even close. Kakariyama, uh, Toshikawa, all the great players. I mean, he's just way more aggressive. He's, he's, he's almost not even Japanese in his style. <laughs> he's, he sticks out like a sore thumb. He's so happy-go-lucky. He's definitely not traditional. He's playing, he's playing safe. But why in front of the pocket? He can, he can go rail first on this ball. Yes, he can. Any good play position on it. I'm um, honestly, I'm a little surprised that he played it at that speed. Maybe he was just playing a two way. I'll get the two hook, way, yeah. and if I leave it in front of the pocket, but in front of the pocket gets it kicked in. Oh, yeah. You make you make your opponent look great, and it really fires him up. 
And the thing is, if it's too much angle, uh, uh, Bubu, Chua, I call him Bubu because that's his nickname, <laughs> uh, Chua can, can go around the other way. Oh, there you go. I don't like going that way because like uh, because it's just too thin of a hit. Now, what was his name? Boobwit. Boo boy. Boobwit. B u b w i t. Boobwit. Boobwit. See, I've I've uh, I've been to the Philippines quite uh -huh. a few times, and I I, I, I got to mile it bank. There's a bank. Why didn't you bank That's the one the first time? Exactly. That's the speed you got to hit it. We got to take away to to Derby. And, you know, learn from the from the guys. Haven't played bank pool. Yeah, haven't played some banks. Little bumps. <laughs> haven't played some bumps. Just haven't played Billy Thorpe. Yeah. No, seriously. Yeah. What a freak of nature he is with banking. And here he's gonna opt to probably bump the five. Now he's like, wait a minute. I got a little. He's got negative angle here, so he the cue ball is going away from the pocket that's what a negative angle is positive angle is going towards I think the pocket. he hits it with the speed that if he doesn't bump the five he goes by it and comes off the rail that's, a little bit to a, get on the three that's a good good shot there. yeah just like that that's perfect the, the speed was good the direction was perfect a little, but the, a little straight you can play a flat cue ball it's going to go long little short rail and elongate play the five mm -hmm. the short side or you can really spin it nice and smooth and play it tight towards the side it comes to the it comes to the side pocket though yeah, punch it. what in the world <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez louise i'm getting nervous watching him <laughs> he just threw the ball uh 13 feet oh, well 12. What a stroke there by Oi. I what did you call that? A negative angle? Yeah, negative angle. Uh, that's, that's, uh, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm speechless. He's not. He's happy. Oh, he's, he's loose. He's feeling good. And this is what what makes Oi such a dangerous player. He's just boom, boom, boom. He's He's got one gear and it's all the way down. He just, just keeps going. There's no reverse There's in his no game. There's no reverse, exactly. short there a lot of short there yeah, but he is with like, the angle he gets well yeah, he's, this he's, is a tough shot yeah, he's upset with himself yeah this is uh and oi already utilizes extension so with that being said you better make a decision within the next 16 seconds i just roll it in i mean with uh, speed to make it oh, he's playing in the corner i like that actually better in the side don't like that but I liked I, I like his choice. Uh, both were good. Uh, that cut. I don't know. That they were both about the same uh, difficulty. So, it was big. Wow. What a what a change. This allows Chua back to the table, Chua and he's throwing a little body English, but he's good. It could be this game and the next one before Oi comes out of his chair. I keep saying that a lot, but uh, Ochua has been successful on the break. Um, so we don't expect them not to be successful, especially with this pressure. You know, Mr. Momentum switches jerseys sometimes. And that's right. And well, that's Ms. exactly what causes that momentum to switch. Uh -huh. Mr. Momentum switches jerseys quick and, you know, Chu I had all the momentum and he let us slip away and he's mad at himself and uh, let's see how quickly he recovers. Oi had won four games in a row. <clears throat> he actually he won six uh, six games to one since he was trailing five to one. I still feel like Oi is a favorite in this position here <clears throat> even though Chu is breaking. Um, Oi supplied so much pressure, made it made himself a serious contender in the match. Considering the position he was in earlier, I mean, he's got to be grateful for the opportunity to be within striking distance and, and side by side with uh, with Chua. Well, you are talking about another fighter, both Oi and Chua. Mm -hmm. uh, so this break is very important right here. 
because this this guy right here at the table, he's swinging that sword in his hand. Yeah, that's true. And he's just as dangerous as the man in the chair. Oh yeah. Let's see what happens here. I'm, I'm curious to see what happens. One ball went high. Eight ball dry. stayed out. Dry, dry, dry. Now this is a momentum swing. This this can really turn the tide on this rack here. This is crazy. On this uh, match. Nine balls below half table. Not a good spread. That was probably uh, a bad idea break from the side rail down there. <laughs> is that the first time or the second time he's broken from the side rail? No, it's the third time. He's been oh, okay. breaking from there now. Um, a little fortunate there, the two ball tied up. And look at this. I think um, Behind the six. The only thing he's going to see is the green six. Mm -hmm. He's going to try and marry the six, get the key ball. And the six ball married. And they are definitely married. <laughs> Frozen. Yep. What a speed control shot. Great, great shot. So this is a this map and a compass it, to get there. This does, it, it looks like it comes out one rail. It does. It does. But the back side is big. He's gonna play it. He's playing it on the back side, but mm -hmm. in case he hits it too long, he's playing it in the corner. And here you're gonna hit it with some velocity because if you hit it from the back side, you want to make sure it hits a rail after, and you want to make sure there's separation between the cue ball and the two ball. So here we go. It looks like he's on. He's on point. It looks like. Wow. Oh my wow. goodness gracious. Wow. What in the world did we just see? Wow. I can't say anything else. Holy sweet Jesus. Look at this. Look at the angle. It straightens out perfect. You see the cue ball bend just enough. Boom. <laughs> I need to be doing this shot at the World Championships when it matters the most. I mean, how <laughs> sweet is that? 7-7. Seven, seven. Unbelievable. Talk about most changing jerseys. Oh, yeah. Stay down so he can come up right into the nine. Uh, I don't even know if he wants to move the nine, does he? Or touch the nine? Just go on top of the seven, does he? Just like that, yeah. Oh my oh god. Boy. Oh boy. Oh <gasps> boy. Oh my god. Wow. That is probably the biggest error of this match. That's why you said he had to bump the seven because he was too flat to get behind it. And he's got 20 seconds to make this decision. He no has no extension. Did he use no extension? He no has no extension. extension. He already used it? Yeah. And, uh, oh man, this is a tough jump. Don't do it. Oh my God. Oh my God. He made the mistake of the match, and then he made the shot of the match. Two back to back. Unbelievable. Kicked in two ball, and this jump is just outrageous. I just give him the match from here on. <laughs> That's sick. That is quite a shot. Wow. I mean, two of the best shots I've seen in in ten ball back to back. Mm-hmm. In the same game. This is this, this is pretty fun to watch. Two, I just said, put that in your highlight reel. Both of them. Wow. What shots? Wow. I don't. I. I'm speechless. I mean, if you if you guys. That's, those two shots are enough to win you the match and probably the tournament. But we saw what happened with the last two shots of that rack, or the last three shots. Will we see anything better than the remainder of this match? Oi to break, trailing now seven to eight. Another lead change. It's only, done, it's only changed twice. Ball was headed to the pocket. Skissed out. And this is a demoralizing situation for Oi. He says, I fought back all this way and. This break killed me. Yeah. 
Well, I'll tell you how serious this is for Oi. Chua runs out this rack and breaks and runs the, the other rack. He's never left this chair for the remainder of the match. Mm -hmm. That's a lonely chair right now for Oi. I mean, what a match this is. This has been. I mean, just produced some great shots. Yeah, too. it's a lot of motions, high and low. I think he was playing. Was he? Either, he was either playing a bump. To, I, I don't see him playing a bump to three. I think he played it that way. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. He, he doesn't look happy with what he got. But this is nice. He's off the rail. He's got a good shot to get on the three. A little steep of an angle. He's got to hold yeah. his cue ball here to make sure. That's a good kill shot. There. He really dug into it nicely. Yeah, but he left himself a steep angle steep here. Steep angle. So now he's going to have to do the same shot and kill it again. Oh, and he's going to run it, but, um, well, actually, you don't think he'll run it? He, he, I mean, he, he is, but it's... Uh, it's dangerous that... He can well, the the, I think the eight ball blocks his scratch, well, but the off the six, it doesn't block the scratch. But then it blocks him from getting down to the four, and it hooks him behind the ten. If he hits a four. The six see. ball's kind of... Uh, with, this ac like with the accuracy, like oh, it stopped I him. I told yeah. you. Yes, you did. I, I know he my customers. It full. Yeah. I, I know. <laughs> well, you played in those big sets. You know your customers. I like that, folks. <laughs> <laughs> he just called him a customer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I got to have fun. Somebody uh, erased this from the Internet, so Johan Chua never hears that. Yeah. Uh, he knows what I'm talking about. Look at this rail first shot. Look at that. And he left him jacked up over the nine. Does eight go? Does eight go? No. No, it just stays there. And that eight ball drops. Now you're talking about Oi having the option of shooting. He wouldn't it give it back. I think he would. You think he would? It's I think Oi makes this. It's all ball fouls. But he's got the left side of the cue ball to the uh, to, to cue. And he can, he he can shoot it with a spin. He does. But on the follow, there is very dangerous because the shaft tapers. So even mm, though it fits, true. even though it fits right now, it might not fit in the back. I uh, never stop to consider that. I would just consider it a very short stroke. That's true. <laughs> Definitely have to play the deflection here with the side. And he's a natural shaft. So. I like him making this. You do. I think he does it. I'm not betting you. Okay. Okay. <laughs> not having, not having an Oscar. Yeah, I think, I think he, he, I think you're right. He, he might make it. I mean, if he shoots it. I don't know what he's See, into. He's in pretty good shape with the cue. What a shot. Yeah. Holy. I think he makes it. Except, I don't know about the nine ball now. How's it feel now? He got there. Barely. Uh, he's, he sees it. He'd be more upset if he could have. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. He sees it's it. so, so close. I'm right at the... I can look right down from the corner pocket to, towards the cue ball. He he's using... It. You can see it. He's using left English. Oh no, he used right. He saw the whole thing. Wow. To tie the match. We're going to have a great finish to this match, folks. Gosh, it's going to be nice. Oh my God. Like I told, I knew that that six ball played big and he opened up the six seven, which is the worst part because the six seven was semi tied up. Oh yeah. That's, you know, that's folks, unfortunate for Chulo. Welcome to the Predator World 10 Ball Championship. We'll sell you the whole seat. But you'll only need the edge. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, for you fans out there that are watching this, if you haven't been to the CSI Expo, make sure you go come book your stuff early. <gasps> that was close. Ooh. Yeah, he was about to book his flight early. <laughs> yeah, nice bank there, Oi. Nice bank. <laughs> oh, boy. Thank you. It's, it's getting nervous. Wouldn't you? I, was gonna, I might. I would have had a stroke. I right. know. Right Jeez. I'd probably miss this eight ball. I get so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice angle for the Perfect. for the nine. Perfect speed. Perfect speed. What a match it's been! Holy cow! To tie things at eight, but his opponent will come out of the chair and be breaking the balls. Get your popcorn, folks. As, as Oscar said, the expo's where you want to be. Plan your vacation. 
Next year, I believe it is in March. That's when this Predator yeah. uh, World 10 Ball will be, and along with the Diamond Las Vegas Open. Uh, from the Pro Billiard Series, there will be five of them this year. Each winner is guaranteed or is entered into the World 10 Ball in March. I think it's March 22nd if I yeah. see the date. Oh, it's March 2022. That's why I'm thinking 22. <laughs> yeah, so we got it's in March. Chris Check Robinson. Your, yeah. Joey Ryan and the world famous Molina Mike. Yeah. He's probably doing a raffle right now on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Joey did a great uh, a stream, a one pocket stream, mm -hmm. and he raffled off a shaft from one of his sponsors mm -hmm. to pay the commentators. That's cool. We got paid better than ever. <laughs> That's good. That's awesome. <laughs> it's nice to see the sport. Oh my goodness, and here comes another dry break. Oh, how it ties. Not turn. much of a. He's got a shot. He's got an offensive shot. Yeah. Uh, he's going to have trouble getting to the two off because of the five. He's just going to play the right side of the, the one and bank it behind the five and use a seven as a blocker. Or just hit it a little thinner and try to bank the one past the four on the cue ball behind mm -hmm. the five. I kind of like crossing the front of this of the one just because the three ball blocks the pocket in case you don't play it safe and you're going to create distance. He just oh, he oh. hit it that way. Oh, and he got unfortunate or fortunate, whichever way you want to call it, to block up the 210. Yeah, well, if he decides to take this cut on, which he might, um, it's an automatic breakout. That's, yep. that's a, I don't think he's going to do that. He's just, not. No, no, he's gonna, he's gonna play the, the same path. He's gonna bank the one by the ten, and maybe it's, uh, cue ball on the seven. He, he missed it. He missed it coming in. I think he that was not intentional. Okay. I I am wow. I'll, I'll bet every dollar I have in my pocket. It's, it's quite a few. Well, bucks. He's looking at his tips. So yeah. Uh, that How was, did I do that? He's saying to himself. Yeah. Well, we've seen Chua miss two balls, and he just whipped the one ball. Yeah, he was trying to hit two. Ouch. He's, he's lucky he didn't hit it because if he would have hit it coming in, he was going to hit the 10 and break out the, mm. the, the whole thing coming out. Well, uh -oh. oh, this is not good. Well, he's going to get... Uh, that's really lucky, actually, on always part there to, to, to... Come up with that shot? Yeah, that was pretty fortunate on his behalf. I mean, she was a little disgusted, I'm sure, at that result because now... He's going to have a good safe opportunity if he doesn't break out mm -hmm. 10 to 210. And he's got a good breakout opportunity. This lines up for a two rail off the one uh -huh. to go into the 10. It does line up. I kind of like the idea of just jumping it and holding it. And then even flirting with breaking it out and then playing the cross corner on it. Well, I know you want Look to at to this. Oh. Yeah. He went around and now he's way down and the risk reward was so low. Oh boy. He yeah. found a way to go through balls, what looked um, like he was going to take advantage of an opportunity presented. Um, it uh, went the other way. You know what I do here? I tie up the 5 4. And that's actually, that's actually, uh, that's what he's doing. That's it. That's the, that's the best shot. This do. is exactly why we like having pro players sitting next to me because I don't see those things. Yeah, you, you have, again, remember what I told you about the push out situation mm -hmm. where you guarantee mm -hmm. yourself a second inning. You're at a huge disadvantage. You break this up, that's it. It's over. There's nothing protecting you. Now what Chua needs to do is, in my opinion, he's going aggressive. He's playing the bank and going for the breakout. Oh, man, this is, this is tough. Well, I think he's missed the bank, but that's what I thought he was doing the whole time. Now he can jump, just hit the ball, and stop the cue ball, send the two the two ball, two cushions going towards the nine or the eight. And again, you protected yourself by tying another, creating another issue at the table. Mm -hmm. I don't want to make this ball here. No, just going to just hit it up towards the eight and absolutely. keep the cue ball down here. Stick the cue ball. And the cue ball should stay down here. Yep, sure did. 
Don't break it up is what you're saying to yourself. Don't break it up. It's going to come out for a shot. Man, in a breakout opportunity. Uh, the hell it is. A very oh, difficult yes. one. Okay. Yeah, he's got to make this with a little bit of inside, mm -hmm. or a lot of bit of inside. No, a just a little bit. bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a hint. Yeah, the contact is so thin. Yeah. yeah. The only danger here is that the four ball is going to pass the side pocket and hook him behind the seven. Might go in. Four might go in, yeah. Oh, and he butchered it. And the six ball almost went in. Jacked out for the seven. There's nothing easy in this game. These guys are. It's are, um, this is it's one of those games. Yeah, it's it's, it's one of those games. And this is the way it should be. You know, eight eight. I mean, this is going to be a battle of who can hold the nerves the best and who comes with a superhero shot. And you see the value now in how how you suggested tying up the five four. Yes, you prolong the game. You mm -hmm. make life difficult, and then that's. And he's going to get where he can cut it, but is the nine ball in the way? I think or does it go to the ball. corner? The six ball. We call the oh. six ball. Oh, well, they go. I didn't know if it went down there. Yeah. I thought it would only cut to the side. This game is to get on the hill. Yeah, I hit it soft because if you hit rail first, it's going the other way. It's, it's but uh, can he spin wow. it? Does he have enough to spin yeah, it? Yeah, he does. I think he does. Mm -hmm. And he can play it three rails long. So it's going to be short, long, short, and come down for the five. The problem with this, with, with a slick table, though, is this spin, the cue ball is going to track to that corner pocket. It's, I think it's going to track towards the side pocket near his wrist. Well, from that yeah. angle, I'll, I'll, I, will, um, I will risk scratching in the side from that Great angle. Save. And he uh -oh. got a dope. Uh, well, he, he can see the right side of it, but the eight ball's there to yeah. kind of kiss off of. Yeah, this is this is a dramatic situation. This is what we want. This is like we said, we'll sell you the whole chair, but oh, man, this is get exciting. on the edge, dudes. This is fun. And ladies. This is fun. He's got an extension. She was, you're going to have to use it, John. you got to use your extension, bud. Oh, look how nice he maneuvered. Uh, just that was, that's actually a good. He's left the shot, yeah. but uh, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been it, it could have been worse for Tua, but it also could have been better for Tua. Just a slight bit softer, yeah. than he would have had him with the eight. Uh, considering he had the heat of the shot clock mm -hmm. breathing down his neck, that was it. Yeah, it's, at least he didn't sell dead out. I mean, he left a tester of all testers. An, yeah, he had his side pocket. Yeah. And he failed that test. And here we go. 8-8. Eight, eight. I mean, this is it, Chua. This is it. They, this is they so traded shots, what, uh, about three shots apiece? Yeah, at least. At, and right there in that exchange. Yeah. Well, the good thing for Oi is he will be breaking at the end of this game. So regardless of the score, he's happy to come to the table. Oh, jumped up a little bit on that ball. <laughs> this should be close to the nine. Yeah, spin, spin, spin. Smooth spin. Just like that. You can almost never put too much spin on that shot. It's such a thin hit. Mm -hmm. Well, folks. Nearing the end. Yeah. But Chua will not be breaking. Oh, this is exciting. You guys turned in to watch this torture. <laughs> this torture. It's uh, a player. It's torture. This is what you want as a fan, though. Absolutely. This and if exciting. you're side betting on this match, this is what you want. Yeah, you need to get a sweat. <laughs> the balls. He's trailing eight to nine. He can't afford to let Chua back to the table. He needs this game, sends it into a hill hill match. What an exciting match this has been, Oscar. Yeah, this has been an awesome match. This has been a lot of fun to watch, and uh, two great players going to battle, and uh, may the better men today win. Oh, what a break. 
There goes the nine. And shot on the one. Yes, sir. Tough Two shot. Two balls tough. But he's going to have to really dig into this cue ball. Give it a nice smooth stroke, not a power stroke, and carry him the six. If you can carry him the six, it's going to be a huge, huge shot. Yeah, this yeah. is it. And he's got the, it lays nice for it. It does lay nice. Oh, no, it's unfortunate. The ball, and the six ball goes right back in place and says, no, you don't. Hit the six too thin. Got to either jump this ball or kick and stick. Yeah, yeah. kick and stick. I like the kick and stick here because he can draw it right behind the six, tuck it right behind it. Yeah, too thin because then the five ball gets into play. Extension, please. Extension. It's a huge, huge stroke here. You got to really make sure you draw it. Stuck it good, not enough speed on the ball. So he's left a shot. With angle to come across the table for the three, which I believe passes a six. So he has to lay it on the rail or out in the middle of the table where he cuts it down because the eight ball does hinder the shape. Mm -hmm. Here's very dangerous because he, if you can make this ball a little bit on the thick side or even a little bit on the thin side, it can, if you hit it on the thin side, it's going to accelerate faster than you anticipate. Mm -hmm. Hitting it on the thick side, it's going to die down slower than you anticipate. So, I mean, it's, this is such a big shot. Here. Tough. Oh, he's jacking. He's digging into it. Wow, he's really digging into it. Is he it's coming tough. above it? Hey. He's no, coming above it. it. He was coming above it. And, uh,. How much confidence do you have to have in your game to be doing shots like that? Well, <laughs> you've played him plenty. How much confidence does he have? He's showing plenty here. That's crazy. What a shot. What a hit. What a hit. Don't. It's going to be perfect. What it's a It's going to be perfect. What a shot. I thought he was shooting to get treetopped over the six, but the ball rolled perfectly straight and just into that area. I think he's got a punch follow, because if he follows naturally, the eight's going to be in the way. And that's what he did. What a shot. Wow, what a match this has been, George. And it's not over yet. I know. It's been it's been an, an amazing <laughs> match. This is, I mean, no matter what happens here, it's it's unfortunate that someone's got to lose. Oh, it really is. Because either one of these guys playing any other person in the world at any given time, I think be both very of, difficult. Both of these guys are sitting to where they 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 can easily win this this tournament, yeah. but they've got they're going to have to face. Kachi or Yap, and Yap played exceptionally well against yeah. Shaw. Mm -hmm. Kachi has come on strong since a, a loss earlier. And that loss was just a couple of mistakes. He didn't play that bad, just a couple of missed balls and a bad scratch. Mm -hmm. but, and the one good thing about Chua sitting in the chair, he's breaking. he's breaking down the hill. He won the lag. That's how important that lag is. He definitely wants to maintain control, so at least place a nice safety or a push out. Right, have control. That's he wants control. Yep. On the break. They traded racks. Let's break this match down. Oh my God. Oscar, Chua wins the first two, mm -hmm. loses one, wins three, loses two, wins one, and then loses four in a row. Since that four in a row, Chua won two, and then they traded games. Amazing. So it's been quite, quite a great match. I mean, uh, the break has kind of failed, both of them. All the way for Oi, for the most part. Uh, and it's kind of failed Chua. Chua started out with breaking good. Yeah, yeah. Chua was squatting the one, actually mm -hmm. making the second ball. 
um, and controlling his cue ball real well. Um, and now it seems like uh, the break abandoned both of them, or abandoned Chua. It was abandoning uh, Oi in the beginning for 80% of the match. And uh, two gentlemen there shaking hands, acknowledging a great match, and uh, one and, game for it all. And the crowd acknowledging it also with a great round of applause. But now they're on their edge. Here we go. Breaking from the side. One ball to the side pocket, no. Five ball, no. Six ball, no. Oof, one ball, Again, something. kissed over, no. Shot, no. No. <laughs> and this is the way it should be. Let's be let's be honest. Oh, boy. Hill, hill, you want a safety battle. You want drama. This is, uh, this is it. This match has had everything. At first, I thought he could masse around the seven. As I look at it again, that's a huge masse. Yeah. It's, no, it's got to be, you know, masse is about five balls. This is tough. The width of five balls. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, Mass saying there's no benefit to, to so it because if you make yeah. it, you're still going to be in a bad spot. On Where do you push? To a jump. Perfect. That's exactly what I would have done. Okay. The reason why is because yeah. you want to, you're at a disadvantage, anyways. It, you're, you're in a very bad spot. So if you jump this and make it, you have a chance to win, but a long shot on the two will be forthcoming. Two yeah. will be forthcoming. Exactly. And he knows that. And in the situation like this, there's really not much else he can do. The only thing I probably would have done differently was to see if I can put the cue ball down table, leave also a jump shot, and tie something else up. Mm -hmm. Kind of like what happened with that five-four situation. I remember that. Yes. It prolonged the agony for Chua, mm -hmm. and I would try to prolong the agony for him again, but, and here comes, uh, Chua so just opted to give it back to him. I was going to ask you, would you consider giving this back? I would. And the answer, you said you would give would, it back? I would give it back. Because yeah. if he didn't like it in the beginning, he probably doesn't really like it after. Um, anytime you're jumping, you're at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. It's not like you're stealing. Yeah, you have to, you have to execute. Yeah. And even here, if you execute, well, let's uh, analyze this jump here. He, could he scratch in the left-hand corner pocket? He can, if he hits it thick enough with yeah. enough action. Yeah. I don't think so. Can he, he leave the it. table? No. Unbelievable. Can he get perfect? Unbelievable. Excellent shots. A great jump shot there from Oi. We saw a fantastic one from Chua earlier, a couple of racks earlier. Uh, preceded by that kick shot on the two ball. So we've seen some excellent high, I've seen more highlight reel shots here in this match than I think I've seen most of the tournament. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is still tough here, real tough. Blind pocket, shot clock running low and he splits the wicket. Well, the three blind mice found that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh boy, let's see what he does here. He's gonna zip it with a low inside English or low outside, excuse me, it turns into inside. Just off it just to see the ball. Yeah, it's close enough. Now, do you, you don't play short side here. You come down past the side pocket for the five, right? Yeah. You might even off the ball there. Yeah, that was right with the question mark, folks. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's bad. Wait a minute. What a yeah, shot. That's nice. Perfect angle, perfect speed, perfect uh, all the way around. Now it's just a matter of holding your nerve, holding your cue ball, keeping it tight. And this can be a nervy shot. Oh, yeah. Because this on the rail that can be pinched off real easy and you want to come up, or he's going to come back for the side pocket, it looks like. No, he just did that. Perfect. You don't want to, he left himself quite a, a, a little bit too much angle, so he's going to kill it a little bit. And he killed it very well. Yeah, I, I, I like I actually it. like exactly the way he did that. Yeah, that was, turned that was it good. Away. And now he's got the same shot to get on the eight. Mm -hmm. Just don't leave yourself straight, mm -hmm. and you're in action. What a match! What a match! So now wow. he's got the eight center table again. 
I hate to see this match end. I, I know. I want to see him keep Let's going. Win by two. Wow. Let's, let's play win yeah, by there two. you go. Win by two. Should we go to a spot shot? No, no spot shot. <laughs> win by two. Win by two. Oh, oh boy. Wow. And now it's just a little drop just past the side pocket. And uh, oh, it's got to be like in this position here. I'd be taking my time out and breathing. And here comes here comes the crowd when they hear this because they're going to be very appreciative of a great match. I think it's this has been the best match of the tournament that I've seen. One of the best 10-ball matches I've seen in a long time. What a great tournament. Great tournament, wow. Johan Chua. Congratulations on the, an amazing third, fourth finish. 